Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Oakfield Farm, another bonus video. We are starting off, we're going to sort the sheep out with some feed and water. Then we need to take a couple of them over to the salt point. We are on Thursday the 16th of January so sort some sheep out that are not fertile they are no good to us they're not going to be fertile we need to give our sheep some water so We shall see what goes around. We've got a problem with our water. It's not connecting. For us. There we go, it is now. Filling the water up, we had got a cable that had come out. Uh, there isn't much wool left. It's not very light at the minute. It's nearly half past nine in the morning and a very dull winter's morning. We are in midwinter. We shall get this backed into the shed and then we shall get on the load hole and take them a bale and put it in the drop, make sure they've got enough feed and then we shall get the animal trailer on here. We want to buy some more animals. Go with that. This galvanised water tank glinting in the sunshine. Right, we shall drop that there. We shall now leave that tractor just there. We need to get our souls fastened up to the bale spike take them one of the round bales across there is our bale spike we shall now hook on to one of the round bales. You want to use the round bales up first. Any round bales when we come to baling will be sold off. We should try and get that one out there. It's not really in the position to where it should be and we shall load up the sheep take those over and we will have to off camera sell a couple of loads of sugar beet 
sheep work is the order of the day today for the video. We shall now bring the bale in. Here we go. Get ourselves lined up. So now our sheep should, yeah, there they are. Full of water, cleanliness is 87%, so everything is good. We shall now take this bell spike back where we got it from. I leave the gate open, someone stood there making sure the sheep don't come out whilst we get the cattle trailer and we shall head off and pick up the sheep we are taking to market and pick some more up to go on to the farm get our spike in the air high enough to get this there we go that will now Have it ready to go on to the bucket to load the sugar beet up shortly. We will now stop there. We shall put the bale trailer on. And load up our sheep. Bale trailer should be in here. Yes, there it is. Uh, not bale trailer. Animal trailer should be in here. Then we can load up any sheep that need to go to market. one or two in here, we'll go across the grass because we want to get turned and backed into the gateway to load the sheep up. And we shall bring ourselves some more sheep going forward. Is that going to now? Ah, there we go. So now let's check on the sheep. There we have it. So that one is 1.6 years old. It's not telling us how. merino sheep but it's not telling us which ones are pregnant and which ones aren't let's have a look this is where it tells us so yeah I think we're just going to have to go and purchase some more sheep it doesn't tell us when we're loading them up which ones we're loading we shall leave someone there on the deck, on the gate. We will now head over to the animal dealers and pick up ten more sheep. shouldn't be too long now before we are 
into the spring again. We do want some more sheep. We want to make sure we get plenty of wool. Once we get to spring, we've also got to have a day where we shall be moving the sheep from the field near the farm over to the field down here. Coming, no. Okay, we've got a clear route out onto the road. This tractor will stay on the farm as the animal workhorse along with the JCB load oil. May also, if it's needed to go on a uh, grass mower. I think actually this tractor is a little slow. We will drop off the animal trailer there. We shall spin ourselves around. Take this back to the yard. We will take the David Brown inspired case a little bit quicker travelling we won't be messing about quite so much we've got a fair way with it before we realise that yeah this is a bit slow it will now be on the water cart and it will be on the A making onto the grass a little there. Trees all defunct of any leaves whatsoever. The edges seem to have little bits of leaf on them. So are they actually beginning to bud up? Just have a look. Yeah, it's still got a few leaves on the edge which is uh, trees are fully de leaf the edges a little bit of leaf on them but they are all brown so they will be greening up soon we shall take this tractor and put it into the shed Connect it back to the water tanker, which will take the David Brown inspired tractor over. The new Puma that we bought will be planting potatoes and sugar beet probably. We can stop there. And we shall now head over here, open this door, we have to close the door at night because it's got potatoes in waiting for a great demand on the potato crop potatoes there, not too many of them, we've got a few in the other shed the other way on as well we shall take this tractor over to pick up the animals, it's nice and quick back down to the animal trailer this does 43 miles an hour so we're not too bad getting about we have got 144,000 or just under 144 and a half thousand we are going to be in need of paying back another 5,000 of the loan very soon 
once we are clear trailer not got a sheet on the top so hopefully we don't get any snow although the animals do stay outside the sheep so uh, there we have it we will now head down to the animal be dealers pick up 10 more merino sheep we will turn the four wheel drive and truck diff locks off we don't need them on up the road increase the sheep by 10 which will be good going forward doesn't travel so quick once it's got this horse cattle trailer on the back apparently there's a new cattle trailer coming out soon so we will be trying to get ourselves onto that any sheep that are three I don't know how old sheep are when they die that's the thing we've got to try and work out what age we need to sell the sheep at I think it should be okay at the minute stay behind this car we are nearly to the roundabout uh, always good to doesn't seem to have a indicators flashing light on it we've got a lorry here but she's going to probably hold us up going forward we are at 10.37 in the morning it is nice and light ground temperature is minus 2 centigrade air temperature minus 1 so it is still a little bit frosty sure why this tractor doesn't pull any faster than it does but uh, oh, the trailer's sliding a bit of ice on the road there I think probably a bit of black ice hopefully it goes better when we go back the other way and hopefully the other trailer pulls a bit easier than this one and you've got the big weight on the front which could be holding it back we are getting low on fuel we need to come at some point with the pickup and collect some more add blue 55 percent of the add blue has been used up cars behind us see the farm there in the distance so uh, hopefully this trailer will fall better going back the other way we will be full but looks like someone there also had a bad year with the potatoes looks like they've got a crop of potatoes that they didn't get up either it's a bit of a steep hill this as well so uh, we are getting close now to the animal dealers see the buildings coming up on our right
getting through a few, you know, that, those potatoes really do. They need ploughing in. Whether they need anybody to come and do them, I don't know, but we'll be busy in the spring with our own land. I do want to buy. animal dealers here, we should put our indicator on, pull into here, so now spin ourselves around, lined up to get in. We shall now load up some sheep. We want merino sheep. There they are, the one year old when we buy them at 378 pounds. So we want 10 more sheep. Confirm. We I've got 10 sheep, let's have a look at them before we go. There they are, you can see them there in the trailer. Nice looking sheep, which will also be good come spring because we'll get a load of wool off them. The wool is growing over the winter to keep them warm. And then once we get to the warmer weather, they will start to be getting sheared and hopefully we should get a good piece of wool out of them to make some good money. See the green and yellow transport company there. They have green and yellow lorries and call themselves Green and Yellow Transport. We're now got to slow down, we've got a car in our way. We will have time to get these sheep in the pen. And we shall check on the sheep we've got, see what's happening. We should be having some. Lamb's barn very soon. Still stuck behind this car. Got a lorry coming the other way, so I can't pass him. Okay, away we go. Now we will go stick the indicator on and overtake him. Air temperature is now at 1 degree centigrade, so it is above freezing, so any of the black ice on the road should be disappearing. Some glinting off the bonnet of our tractor. sure where to we can get any land from we'll have to have a look and see what land is up for grabs as soon as we've got the money for it doesn't really matter if it is away from the farm a little means a bit of transporting as we go forward but uh, yeah that should be all right this will go on corn cart of course in 
harvest time, it will also be on the beet and potato cart. Now back to the road up to the farm. We have stopped doing the grass verges and everything. We've not really got time for doing it ourselves. But, uh, see going forward. Now we're up a steep hill again and tractor is got four-wheel drive in, make sure it gets up the hill. And we shall get the sheep into the pen. And that is where we will leave you for this episode. Let's just run on the grass a little, get ourselves into position. Betty Max doesn't turn too well on the back of a tractor really. Not 100% happy with this but it's done a good job. It's got our... Missed the gateway there. Okay, there we are, we're in the gateway. We shall now unload the sheep. So these are the ones we need to move. Confirm that, we have now got a load of sheep, we shall check on our sheep, they've still got plenty of water, plenty of A, so we've got one animal in 0.1 of a year, 0.2 of a year, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, that one ain't got an animal coming. That one, 0.1 of a year, and that one in 0.2 of a year. That one's due to give birth any time. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That one's due to give birth any time. 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0.1 again. So we have got some sheep do any time. 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. No animal coming. 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 again. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. No animal coming. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Oh, no animal. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. No animal. 0 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, and 0 0.1 again. We've got a lot of sheep here now, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, no animal, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and no animal. These are 
just a year old. These must be the ones we've just bought that are showing up there. So plenty of animals, plenty of sheep, plenty of sheep coming. So we shall now move our tractor forward so we can get the gate closed as we do. Hope you've enjoyed this video sorting out the sheep and buying 10 more please give us a like give us a share drop us a comment if you're new to summer farm estates and you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel ring that bell it will tell you when we do these videos when we do our live streams until next time thank you very much for watching have a great day and goodbye for now